you're dead. What it do, what it do, guys. And today we got a GVG. And like I said, we'll be playing with Melissa because I'm pretty sure like on the 25th, if they decide to keep it, Melissa's gonna get buffed for like the 50th time. Melissa, <laughs> somebody at Smallgate really liked Melissa. She's kind of been around for the curse for, for fun, you know, just to pop two units if you have a good cleave team, but usually she just, you know, your defense break them, you know, you do your, your your first turn shenanigans, and then Melissa will soul burn and curse somebody, and then she killed two units, and then you just sit around with immortality until they give up or leave. But the game is usually one, but she's never been like a, a, a main DPS, right? She's never been like, I gotta have Melissa on the team like Emo Kid, so she can actually do damage and throw coffins everywhere. I still like the funny thing is this her manifestations, the damage they'll increase. Usually they, usually they over buff it because the damage dealt increases is usually proportional to the loss of health, right? And she's like one HP, or I think it's like usually 25% of the max HP is when they're like capped out in damage. When she's that low, she gets some good multipliers. So let's hope that this over buff this and made it like 3.5 dollars, <laughs> the highest multiplier in the game. <laughs> but you guys know what Melissa does. I use the free MLs, I mean not ML, but the five star selector for the, pre, the free plus 15 because I have pretty much everybody plus 15. And it's not many people besides could work. Not many people I want to use it on. So I use it on her for the imprints on top of that. We also did it just because she's good at stuff. So S2 immortality and a recess if it kills somebody. S3 elemental advantages, but I apply curse 99% of the time. If they're squishies, they, they will die from this. So the curse is kind of useless. I kind of wish it was like Abigail where at the start of the turn, you put curse on the highest attack unit by default. But usually you want to put this on like a, a knight or tank or somebody escort and then you just take somebody up. But also dispels all buffs so they don't get shared damage besides warriors and whatnot. We're rocking the free gear by the way that we got because I have nobody to put this on. So we use pretty much his own free gear, armor pin to crit destruction. She's 203 speed. She had to increase damage for her S2. So this is going to hit like a, more of a truck. And we're using time matter, so when somebody dies, you reset the cooldown by one turn. So you get Ifly S2 on Melissa if you get extremely lucky. And we're gonna try to bring some books. But anyway, let's get into the GBG. All right, game number one. We got Fallen CC, we got our method, the fast ones on this team, by the way. She's only like two, four, oh, she's 240. And she has books, she's here to carry books for us, mainly. And hopefully stun these group of uh, units. And then we got Melissa. Which, we're gonna soul burn the S3 to ignore effect risk. Aggress has an extra turn, so we're gonna put this on Bridal. And hopefully Selena's not in stealth. But I'm pretty sure we put this on Bridal and then we go for, let's say, uh, Luna. It will end up uh, proccing Bridal and then they won't take the extra damage from Curse, I'm pretty sure. We also could just put Melissa. Nah, <laughs> we, I mean, not Melissa, we bring Abigail. We do that in another game. And about a, we got Elvera, we got a Miki, and we got Blood Moon Haze. We got Team Immortal. <laughs> I was like, we're also gonna run BBK. <laughs> it's like, I'm trying to think of another immort Immortal you can bring. So I want to be on Buffalo, we're just gonna ruin some of our plans, by some of our plans, like 90% of all of them. Oh, we resisted on Buffalo, which is honestly good. Should I turn them We're going to S3 Bye -bye. to see if we can stun both of these units. Finally, we meet. I want to S1 just to see if I can provoke with 100% chance to provoke. Because I don't want her to S3. I think she she don't go into stealth. She only just clears off everything. But she's going to burn to death. I'll save it for when. <laughs> I was like, what are the chances she's gonna resist this S1? I was thinking. <laughs> I was like, she's gonna die to bird. Uh, no matter what I do, if I put curse on her, well, at least I can see, right? She's gonna kill us with her S3. But if I put curse on her, right? And then I asked too, I can see the added damage will still get transferred over. Or if I do this, she's gonna just get bridal and then I gotta still kill her. We'll do this. 
With no effect rays. I have things to do. We actually probably could just kill her also. We'll, we'll play safe this one game. I want at least one win one game so I don't have to like, you know, come back. Bring it on. Rest in so we'll S2 to get another speed increase. It's time for your revenge, Ilian. I will provoke. I have nothing to say. We'll hit it in the briefcase. You have weakness all over. Okay, we get at least one game, so I don't have to surrender the other 12. Shall we begin? <laughs> I can't believe she resisted a provoke. I was like, what's the odds? Resist. Either they're full of Fectress, or they're really good at it. The most terrible night. Just right, I'm gonna S3. I like these unique lines that they give. Everyone right, hit over a briefcase. Well, not a briefcase, but a, <laughs> a coffin. Okay, we get at least one game. <laughs> it's still glad that she, I knew she was going to burn, but still, I like, maybe we need to provoke. I don't want to S3 to proc Bridal's resolve. So we got at least one game with Melissa, so we don't end up accidentally, you know, throwing all these games. But Blood Blue Haste is doing their thing. I thought it's a North Factor is. We're gonna do this since BBK does more damage the lower HP she does, so might as well keep her at full HP for now. Counter. Okay. Counter blue global haste. What's a slap? This is it. Okay, blood blue haste got the counter. Good, juicy. You don't look very appetizing. What does Avia still this? Cause I don't think she has. I don't think she has effect rest. <laughs> Everything is literally getting resisted. <laughs> oh no. You're not dead yet. You won't resist this, right? Okay. So you wanna die. Bubble has way more effect than this a Miki. The continuous battle is making us laggy. Think you can handle this? All right, we kill her. I just, I just, <laughs> that's all I can really say. What are you doing? We'll slap her twice to proc her immortality. Focus. I have a ride. Whatever you got, bring it. Damn, we're faster. I was hoping she would be faster. Be okay, at least we won one game. That's all I can really say. I'll you. A crack. That's, that's all I can really say. Oh, Blood Moon Haste. I wanted to heal from the S1, but it was like, no. I can't go down like this. <laughs> Same. Okay, good that I didn't troll the first game. The second game... They're all... Wow, damn. That was... 15% galore. All right, game number two. We brought a full fire team. We brought Norwell at 275 speed, or 276 with guiding light. And the thing is, she's at 150 effectiveness. But we also have Veronica here, which give her 10 more speed, so she's 285. And she has this just because I didn't know what artifact they give her really. So she got the pieces. She <laughs> the pieces here. <laughs> well, ten extra effectiveness. She just has it just to have it. And then bottom we got eyes. Eyes is on some heavy down gear, but he's at one seventy one effect res. Aria, they don't really have the effectiveness, but she's at one seventy three with Bastion of Hope. And then we put Christy for Aria. So there's no way Aria should be getting debuff. <laughs> Ever. If I already get debuff, I don't know. That's some crazy. This game need rework. But let's hope we're faster than ML Polite. We probably won't be, but hopefully we don't get pushed back too, too far. Okay, nobody's in, within range, so. If Veronica and them get pushed back, then we might be a okay. Veronica. She's in stealth, though. Here's the thing, can we put a bomb 
It's a defense. It's a defense break. You can't stop me. So disappear. Thank you. Continuous battle for that. If we get a defense break, we only got 65 effectiveness. She resisted a bomb, but. We'll go to S3. It is the time for penning. Minus one her S3. You know who I am, don't you? If we still do she get still get immortality if we seal this? Please don't resist this. Okay, good. Please don't kill Melissa. I have arrived. Damn it. <laughs> My first act as a vampire lord will be your extermination. Oh, well, when she get buffed, it's gonna be my extermination, guys. <laughs> you heard it here. <laughs> I was like, please don't. <laughs> well, Abigail, you gotta take your sister's place. So we got Overlord of Death, which is honestly great on our part. The dark shroud of death but he shouldn't be able to strip any of he, he probably can strip eyes. 30,000 HP. Get the rebrung eyes. Everything is going to be alright. The promises of this. And do we want to get rid of Illy? Will not yeah, because eyes take increased damage. By increased damage, he took increased damage. Uh, uh, there's nothing I can really do here that could constantly keep him alive because it's gonna be AoE. <laughs> at least I can do this while looking cool. Don't 15% this at least. I feel like this should honestly continue to go on even if he's dead. I'll be with you. You feel me? Listen when I ask nicely. Like even if he's dead, that shit's just still going on. At least you get one kill. For for the big minus on his S two. And I would just let Arya do her thing because it might just be Arya versus the world. Because eyes might die here. Or maybe he wouldn't. Stun a vessel. Okay, that counterattack. <laughs> that counterattack. <laughs> so she's on counter. That's good to know. She's on Elvis also. That's good to know. Okay, there's nothing we can really do here. It's gonna be Ari versus the world. You go ahead and die. Okay, the Elvis at a counter was perfect. <laughs> You will regret this. And I'm pretty sure if I hit her, she's gonna count it. Nope, she's not. Shall we end? I don't know if like Ari can do this by herself now. You haven't heard of Shadow Elvers. Elvers. The every hit I do is an Elvers or counter. Well, there's like one. This, this is not gonna be an Elvers and or counter. This is gonna be an Elbrus and or counter. <laughs> this is why we need Mort. Wait till the great Mortalists come around. No. <laughs> True. What's the point of Abyssal Crown if it never procs? Alright, game number three. We got the Roy, because I've been forever since I played with Roy the Mustang. I'm about to snap some fingers unless I get counterattack into oblivion. <laughs> that's, that's all I gotta really say. And we got Luna and Frida. And then bottom, we got Sharoon, since we hardly play with her, but she's on Unity set just because I want a dual attack, just to mess with some people. And we also have the Fallers Garment on top of that. She got the E that reduced the cooldown of May You Perish by one. And we got, a, we got a Queen, and we got Abigail to finish her sister's place. <laughs> Unfortunate. Let's hope they don't on a not on a random counterattack. Little S two. Hopefully they don't Elbrus. Let's see if they have Elbrus. don't treat me like a child. We're not gonna treat them like a child. I promise. 
I treat them like a child. <laughs> we're gonna so we're gonna S three. I know it's gonna push her up, but we're gonna S three. Let's see if we can keep the attack buff. Never enough time. I want to do I want to sober her or her. Let's see. Are you Elvis on Elvis in a counter? Oh, they go to Hero Ishval. <laughs> oh, they go to Hero Ishval. <laughs> Elvis, so she's on Elvis. How are you here? I'm not your sister. I was so fortunate. On a <laughs> I was so unlucky. You coming? You get a dual attack. The water slide is this way. I'll protect you. Oh, we'll do this. No dualies, please. I won't go easy, even on you. Alright, let's see. Don't counter or Elvis. I wish I had that for a reward. Okay, more when more come around. When more is here, all these Elvis are gonna just fall over. Just skin and bones. I'm just gonna poke her. Oh, you're not counter no more. <laughs> Bro, it's like how does that a sober? <laughs> Counter Elvis. <laughs> oh no, I feel like they just have Phyllis on every defense team imaginable. So I take the Esther to the dome. She resisted it. That's fine. And then we'll put some injury on her. And we got a defense break. We're going to S3 to see what we can strip off. We're probably gonna get counterattack or not counterattack. We're gonna kind of get counterattack. No counterattack. Is that all you're capable of? S3 her. Then you're better off dead. Prove your worth. We'll see if we get resist. Why are you resisting the one thing that needs? Can you handle this? <laughs> I was like, if we get a seal on her, I would have just went for like her. Oh, cool. This little prop bridal resolve, ain't it? <laughs> oh, no. I'm dealing with it. Don't worry. Your resolve is unbearably shaky. I make this moment. It's something we do with candy. Unless we counterattack with a. Uh, I smell living. Anybody. Oh, we got a seal. Cool. Hopefully, we light still from this. All you've got. Me? We're gonna scoot up. Much stronger now. Oh, I can't. Oh, oh no. Just, uh, I trust you, Sharu. Oh no. Why do bad things happen to good people? I, I wanna know that too. I wanna know that so much. Why? <laughs> the bad things happen to good people, guys. I want to know that too. Do I even want to go to RTA? My morale is down. Alrighty. We got Melissa, and then we got everything else. Do I want to. Who do I want to get rid of? What non attack do we have, her? I said, will it be enough? For the curse, we don't have any books, so it makes sense. But if Melissa gets low, that'd be great by itself. Hey, we're gonna do this. You don't deserve my mercy. Try and take it. Brace yourself. If you don't mind. So we'll bring up her. I, to be alarmed. I, 
swear. What if we go bomb Genoa with 215 effect res? And then I want to get this off. So you learn nothing from last time. We're gonna soul burn the S3 for the stun and defense break. I'm gonna have to S3 at this point. <laughs> Cause of the first break I don't want Melissa to die. And she's in stealth. I find that funny. Bon voyage. How dare you pick a fight with me? We can still kill Genoa. But he can't provoke right now. And Melissa's Stuff. Even if we're like, we still have S2 on her, don't we? Yeah, so we can cleanse it off. So we can cleanse off the the seal and us whatnot from Melissa. Actually, no, we can't. She's Melissa's way faster. And I think he lost connection, or the connection went bad. I think this by default it might go to Melissa because she's a lowest HP unit. Yeah, I think the, I think he right out on the connection is kind of, okay, there you go. I was like, <laughs> so we got the S3 on there. We're going to get sealed so we can't bridle resolve. I didn't think they'd follow us all the way here. I don't want to accidentally, like, trigger an Elvis or a counter. You're nothing. Get out of my way. Please don't counter. I will not we'll see if we can put a curse on her. I will have my revenge. I have nothing to say to you. And then we'll get rid of Genoa. Die. And since we do have time is matter, reduce the cooldown of that. Like I promised. And she's stunned, so we're we're, we're Gucci at this part. All right, one game. I, I like that. I like that. Melissa did her thing. Now imagine when she get buffed, and the S2 would hit way harder if she get a chance to move, or the meta is is not sealed. Well, actually, she don't have a passive, so she can't be sealed technically. But um, buff was what ruining her. Hmm. But I do like that anyway. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. See you guys all around. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe. And I'll probably, actually, no, my fate is shattered from the, all that 15%. I don't think I'll be streaming today. Probably, I do it on the off days, but I'm not doing GBG. But anyway, see you guys around. Peace.